Hey playa, if your crush smiles at you, what does it mean? If they look at you from across the hallway, what does that mean? If they say hi to you, what does that mean? What does all of it mean? Well, that's what Jacob wants to know when he asks me, can you please do a video on how to read your crush's body language? No problem, Jacob. Let's tackle this. This is the Just Beats. You're watching the Just Beef. For those of you that don't know, my name is Josh, and every single Monday through Friday, I share tips, ideas, and stories teaching you how to be your best self. So make sure to subscribe so you can see my weekly tips. Now, when it comes to reading body language, it can be kind of tricky because not every action that a person takes means what you think it means. For example, let's say you're sitting in class and your crush looks at you. Well, what exactly does that mean? It can mean a multitude of things. Maybe they looked at you because they just casually glanced in that direction. Maybe they looked at you in a very friendly or curious way, or maybe they looked at you because they like you and they wanted to get your attention. A look is not a definitive sign of any kind of feelings. People look at things and people all the time, so I wouldn't read too much into something as small as that. But what if your crush smiles at you or says hello? There has to be a deeper meaning to that, right? That's not always the case. A smile is simply a friendly way to communicate with someone, and just by saying hi to them is also a friendly way to communicate with them. I wouldn't look into these small things as definitive signs that your crush is interested in you. So what in their body language is a sign that they are interested in you? Well, I made a video about this a while back where I talk about how if your crush is willing or wants to spend time with you, that's a clear sign that they're interested in getting to know you better. But to be more specific, it's important to take note of how they interact with you when they are around you. Let's start with physical contact. Are they putting their arm around yours? Are they sitting on your lap or leaning against you or resting their head against your shoulder? Any of these signs where they're actually physically interacting with you is a good sign. It's a sign that they are close to you, that they feel like they can trust you enough to do that. And it's not just what they do, but also how they react when you do it to them. For example, if you go to hold their hand, or you go to put your arm around them, or you go to kiss them on the cheek, do they treat that like it's a normal interaction, or do they kind of distance themselves and make it seem a little awkward? And that's a big thing to take notice of. Body language is not just reading a person, it's also trying to understand them, to adapt to the situation to make it a more comfortable experience for both of you. I've done a video in the past as well about maintaining eye contact and the importance of that. So if when you're talking to your crush, you both are able to lock eyes for a long time, you're both able to hold that and really keep that going, I think that's a clear sign that there is interest there. But let's back up a lot here. When you're in middle school or high school, the great majority of people are actually nervous around their crush. So you can't expect your crush to have their body language down packed and to know exactly what they're doing to try to attract you and to try to win you over. To some people, maintaining eye contact can be kind of scary. To other people, putting your armor on your crush can seem kind of weird. Don't worry, you're not alone. Every single one of us is working towards being a more confident person. So if you don't really see these signs in your crush, you don't really see them giving off these body language cues, don't worry. What I think matters most is that if you like someone, you should be the one that's proactively trying to pursue them and then reading their body language based on your actions rather than the opposite. Everyone wants to play defense. They'd rather sit on the sidelines and try to read into what their crush is doing rather than proactively going after them because they don't want to get rejected or look like a fool. But here's the thing. If you're sitting there waiting for your crush to give you the right kind of social cues, waiting for her to kind of flick her hair back or look at you or smile or say something cute or kind of bump into you or tell her friends to talk to you or any of these things, you're only wasting your time. The longer you wait to talk to your crush, the easier it becomes for someone else to come over and start talking to them, for them to just get bored of waiting for you to make a move, or for them to just genuinely lose interest and only see you as a friend. So I think the one body language sign you should hope that your crush doesn't give off is a sign of ultimate disgust and annoyance that you even came over and talked to them in the first place. If your crush doesn't do that, then I think it's okay for you to interact with them in some way. But what do you think? Has your crush ever given you any body language signs that made you think that they were interested in you? Leave your comments below and we'll talk about it. If you have a question or story that you wanna ask me, you can always shoot me a DM over on Snapchat or Instagram. I do my best to answer as many messages as I can. And if you enjoyed this video, hit the thumbs up button and let me know, but the learning doesn't stop here. Check out the videos I have over there on the side to keep learning more about body language, eye contact, talking to your crush, you name it. All the things that you want to master, I've made videos on. And if I haven't, I will sometime in the future. So I'll catch you guys next time. As always, love and peace.